Hello everyone, I'm Kristen Gerhardt and welcome to Theory 11's new weekly web show, Expose. A show where we feature a new trick every Monday. And it's all hosted by me! And me! You're still here? Yeah, I live here. Um, this is my bed and my computer. This is my whole setup. Well, let's get started. Now I know what you're thinking. For those of you worried about the insider going away, please do not worry. Nobody's worried. The Insider will continue every Friday with this show releasing every Monday. But seriously, nobody watches your show. I get it. The basic idea of the show is that once a week, Zach and I select one magic effect that we deem worthy. We review it, duck shit about it, and go out on the streets and perform it and tell you what we think. And if we hate it, we'll try not to be too hard on you. Our first trick of the show and the entire series... Nobody cares. ...is Vertigo by Rick Lax. The effect is described as a mind-bending, logic-warping demonstration of skill. Since when is defying gravity a skill? I actually, I don't know. You remove the cards from the box. You show the box empty. You then delicately place the box on top of the deck. Slowly, you release your fingers to show the box is now suspended, but that's not the end. It's just the beginning. Actually, there's only two parts of this effect, so you're halfway through. Fine. You want to read this? You set the cards on the edge of the empty card box, remove your hand, and show that the entire deck is suspended. Seems impossible, but it's actually easy to do once you've mastered the secret. Isn't anything easy to do once you've mastered the secret? Like being a Jedi for Yolda is really easy because he's mastered the Force. Did you say Yolda? No, I said Yoda. No. You know it's Yoda. Yeah, I know that it's Yoda, but I said Yoda. That's what I said. You said Yolda. No, I said Yoda no, you... because I said it. Why would Have I put an L? Have you seen Star Wars? Yes, of course I've seen Star. You can perform Vertigo sitting down, standing up at Chipotle, on a stop sign, or with the police. With the popo. <laughs> say that. No. Dude, say it. With the popo. That's f hilarious. No threads, no wires, no magnets, self-contained, instantly resets, and the best part is the cards are completely examinable and you can go right into your favorite card trick. And now, let's take a look at the trailer. I've created a lot of tricks but never one that has fooled people so consistently. My name is Rick Lax. Welcome to Vertigo. Well, that just looks fan doodly tastic Kristen and I are now going to watch the DVD and let you know what we think. Okay, good times. I was actually really happy with this effect. It's simple and easy. It's very fooling, even to magicians. And the best part is you can use it in pretty much anywhere in your set, whether that's a powerful opener or a strong closer or even as a standalone quickie. <laughs> but I don't, I don't get it. You're too young to get it. I'm 16, I can handle it. Effect, nine out of 10. The method is absolutely brilliant. Both faces are really easy to do, and I was surprised at how different the method for both were. So, we give it eight out of 10. Method, eight out of 10. The performance on the DVD is done straight for the camera, and then once again for a spectator at table level. Unfortunately, the trick is never done on the streets for real people, but that's kind of the point of this show. As opposed to imaginary people. 8 out of 10. Performance. 8, Eight out, out of 10. 10. The explanation is very in-depth and easy to follow. Rick guides you through creating the gimmick, what angles to cover, how to handle everything, and even explains a few additional tips and other gravity-defying effects. 9 out of 10. Win. Oh. Explanation. 9, Nine out, out of 10. 10. The quality is pretty much what you come to expect from Theory 11. They shot everything with 5D Mark II's like we're using on this episode. Shameless plug. And with little Andre Drake behind the camera, you know it's going to be shot well. 10 out of 10. Quality! 10 out of 10! The price of this effect is right where it should be. It could have easily been priced at $30 or $35 because it includes special materials, but $25 is definitely the sweet spot. It's definitely worth the value. Especially for us, because we got it for free. 8 out of 10. It's 9 out of 10? 9 out of 10. Price! 9 out of 10! Pose quality! Unscalable! Overall, we both really enjoyed Vertigo. It's a fun effect to perform. The method is awesome. It fools the bajankies out of people. It's relatively easy, and it's something you can keep in your pocket and whip out whenever you're in the mood. <clears throat> Seriously, I'm totally in the dark here. Someday, Zach. This is the time in the show where we go out on the streets and perform the effect for real people. Let's go. Right? Okay, right it, it gets right? better, it gets better. <laughs> it gets a lot better.
You guys are seeing this, right? This is defying gravity. Here, make sure that's a regular deck. Check that out. Make sure it's a regular deck. <laughs> is it a regular deck or is it yeah, no, it's a regular deck. Do me a favor, check out the deck. Make sure those cards are not stuck together. No doves, hidden trap doors. Smell good? Smell good? <laughs> good, good, that's important. Make sure it's regular. It's a regular deck, right? There's no like duplicates or anything. Anyway, that's it. Oh, was it good? Yeah. yeah. Well, everyone, that's about it for this week's episode. But let us know in the comments below what you thought and which trick you'd like us to feature next. Thank you all very much for watching. Please don't make every comment about Kristen's breastuses. And we'll see you next Monday. Well, I'll see you on Friday, obviously, because of the insider. I do a separate show without Kristen. But um, I'll see you next Monday as well. Just shut up.